Alright, fellas, what's going on? So, uh, went out rock crawling. Show you a little clip right here. like and i'm hoping i just pressed out a u-joint cap or cracked it or something um so yeah so we'll we will see what we did so i'll pull that apart i've got a whole axle completely assembled i'm not sure if i'm going to use that but uh i'll probably i think on that side over there i've got the um um the chromoly stub I think this is the standard one, but it could be the chrome molly. I don't, I can't remember. But anyway, I'm gonna pull it out. We'll take a look. I'll show you what we got going on. The U joint out, and then I remember when I put this one together. I think I reused the U joint, and um, I don't know if the maybe there was too much pressure and the clip came out, or I don't know. Who knows? But anyway, so hopefully just a U joint, and we're good to go. So I have an extra one. I use those Moog Super U joints. They've been holding up well. Um, I think I've broke maybe one of them, but uh, I think it's usually the stubs that keep breaking. So, 10 bolt with 40s, you know, we're just uh, breaking some minor stuff, which is kind of nice. I think, uh, like I said, it just cap came out, hit that, and popped it off. So, all right, we'll pop a new U-joint in this sucker and uh, get it back up in there. Got the U-joint out. Uh, ain't too bad. There's like a little bit of a... A little bit of something on here. I'm just gonna clean it up a little bit and then uh, get the new uh, U-joint up in here. But there's like a little lip on the edge, so I'm gonna clean it up. And then uh, I remember when I put this together, like it was a little bit tight. I may just, you know, take the little bit out of here just so make sure that the uh, clips get on there good. But uh, other than that, we're looking pretty good. And then on the axle side, it's good too. So, all right, let's get going. All right, well, I got the U-joint up in there. Kind of a pain. So this thing here, like the, I think it's like a little bit too tight. So I ended up using like a, a puller and I just like pushed it in a little bit. And then I was able to get the, um, the clip to sit nice and snug. I think that was my problem last time. I didn't have the clip. Like, I don't know if it was seated properly. I don't know. But anyways, it's up in there now. Everything's good to go. Everything's moving. All right. So yeah, we'll put it in, see if it lasts a couple trips. Put another one in. Anyways, the U joints I'm using are these Moog. Um, they're pretty tough. I don't. I don't think I've actually broke one yet uh, in the truck. But uh, there it is, right there. I just keep breaking stub shafts and stuff. So maybe I should get a weaker U joint. So anyways, that's it. All right, so we're back together, looking good. I think the only thing I got to do before my next trip, I got to get up underneath here, check everything out. Um, all of the poly bushings have been holding up pretty well, except for one. Um, and then you remember when I ramped it on the sand dune, it kind of, kind of tweaked that one a little bit, like bent the bottom of the frame a little bit, just a little bit. And then, so I've replaced this one one time and it just like the edge keeps getting like, you know, that lip on the bushing keeps like tearing. So I'll probably do one more trip on it, change it out. I'll probably pony up. Put a Heim joint on it. Probably put a Heim joints on the front. And then uh, the back is still good. So I think in the back, I just really need to put Heim joints on one side. And then it'll be, it'll be copacetic. But we'll see. So anyways, thanks for rolling with me. Take it easy.